Welcome to my channel, my name is DevTrend. Today, I am going to do a small tutorial on OBS using Android or iOS devices to mostly control OBS hotkeys with these two small software. Links will be in the description, please consider subscribing as I will be uploading new videos. For the sake of this video, I will be using my Android device. And now, on to the tutorial. First, open the link in the description and download the free tools. Touch OSC Editor and Touch OSC Bridge and install the two software. If any network message appears, click Allow. I have already installed both software, so I am skipping installation since it's a no brainer. Next, you will need to install the app version pertaining to your device that you will be using to control OBS, which you can find at the bottom of the website page. Second, you need to set up TouchOSC app to communicate with TouchOSC Bridge. To do this, make sure your PC is running TouchOSC Bridge and your device with TouchOSC installed is connected to the same network. Third, open TouchOSC on your device and navigate to MIDI Bridge. If you can see your PC IP address, it means the connection was successful. If not, type the IP of the PC running TouchBridge. Thereafter you will see the name of the PC show up below your IP on your device. Fourth, go back to your PC and open Touch Editor, where we will create buttons for OBS hotkeys. Click on New and under the layout. Now set the orientation that you wish to use, whether vertical or horizontal. Select the size or resolution of your device. My device resolution is 1280 by 720p. Next set the zoom to see the full layout. Next, select the amount of page you wish to add if needed more button functions. Next, click on the grid and set it what you prefer. I will leave it to 20. Next, open OBS click on setting and go to hotkeys. Here, make a list of the shortcuts you want on your device. After go back to the touch editor and right click on the layout and select a push button. Click on one of the points to scale the size of the button. You can also use the XYWH to manually enter a preferred size. Next, right click and click on H label to create a horizontal label. As before using the point guides to scale the size. Hold down the shift key to select both labels and buttons. Right click and center or align to your preference. You can also choose to show background or outline. And change button color if preferred. Setting the hotkeys on the touch editor. Click on the button, go to the key tab and enter the shortcut key from your list. or in my case. I use the key binding and added control, and a key I set in the hotkeys on OBS. All is to be done now is to sync it to the device and test it. Also, save your progress before every sync. Now, to add the file click sync.
Next, go to your device. With the app already open on your device, navigate to the layout and click add from the editor. Here you will see the name of your PC. Click on your PC name and the file on the PC will be uploaded to your device. To load the file, tap the name of the file then tap done and you're all done. I have done some buttons for my OBS which I will demo by pressing the buttons on my device. Guys hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to ask questions about what we're not understood. And I will try to help you guys out. If wondering about the track I used in the video, I produced and made it myself. Hope you like it. Don't forget to drop a like. Until next time, be safe.